Forge Cup Ministries is a Bible-based church. Our mission is to bring people to Jesus Christ. God's word is above all things. It's sharper than any double-edged sword, penetrating to your soul and spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit and open your heart as you make God's word the standard for your life. Promise TV, bringing people to Jesus Christ. Say thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. Let me acknowledge the presence of our viewers, those who are watching us from within and outside Zambia. We thank God that you are there on YouTube, Facebook. We appreciate your support. We appreciate your love for this ministry. Your support is not in vain. God Almighty is going to reward you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today I want to talk about something very simple but very important if you understand this language. When you are chosen by God Almighty, I mean, if you are a promised child in that house, God must surely separate you from your family. There is what we call family foundation and family character. In this foundation, that is where we support everything, whether good or bad, because you are part of that family. Even if you know that this is wrong because it is your family, you stand and support the wrong things. But when you are separated from that foundation, you begin to see how bad it is for you to be in that foundation. I'm not saying we should hate our family. No. When Abraham, you know, was chosen by God Almighty, if you follow his journey, Abraham, from the father, you realize that they were not rich. No. It was Abraham who became the foundation of that great family we call Israel today. So today, you need to ask God to release you from that foundation. And he will show you where you go. And I'm not saying you shift from where you are. No. This is a spiritual thing. It's a parable. It's what? Yes. It's important, people of God. I have seen where family members supporting something wrong, which can lead to destruction, but they are busy supporting it. At the end of the day, we face destruction, and that destruction is irreparable. When you are picked, anointed by God, Within your family, no one would discover that you are chosen and anointed by God, that you, you carry a different character because you are there to deliver that family. And for you to take that step, it is not every family member who will be happy with you or who are going to support you. Others will start calling you names. Others will hate you. All kinds of you know names will come upon your life. 
But as long as you answer that call, where you are telling God that God, release me now. I want to deliver my family. He will show you where to go. Where no one knows you. No money. Nothing and nothing. But because it's the one who is in charge to give direction to your life, you are not going to suffer. You are not going to suffer. I can assure you on that one. This is not a man. Your fellow human being can tell you to say, come tomorrow morning, I will find you at the gate so that I can employ you. Before you know it, he has used another gate. But with God Almighty, it's not like that. Once he called you to say, Mulenga, I want you to go there. You see opposition within your family. Even friends. But be determined to answer that call so that you release the family from that bondage. There are families that are being tied down in the water. Some of you, you are being tied on the, I mean, on the rock. Others on the tree. These are spiritual interpretations where a carnal mind cannot understand this. Make no mistake. Confessing with your mouth that you are a born again Christian doesn't mean that what you say is what you are. Look at the type of dreams that you are having. Look at the challenges in the family, within the family, even in your life, you as an individual. But when you are released from that foundation, which is cracked and contaminated with poverty, premature death, failure, limitation, you are released from that foundation. The time that you are living, no one will see that you are carrying something. No one will even, you know, bother to say, ah, me, I'm in support of what you are doing. No one. But within, hmm, that's when they will start thinking, to say, ah, ah, is he the one? He is the one. He is what? We look at Abraham, our father, the father of faith. The man who had faith in God, who could not let his blessings depart from his life because of what God said concerning his son. Let's go to Genesis chapter 12. Verse 1. Let me call you. The Lord had said to Hablam, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. Two, I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those, this is verse 3, who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all people on earth, to you, that is all the people in your family, you start with your what? Mm -hmm. All people on earth Will be blessed through you. Let me just dwell on this one, two, three, four before we go to verse four. The Lord had said to Abraham, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household. To the land I will show you. Make no mistake, the land God was talking about was not even known to Abraham. Abraham was not even aware that one day he will leave his father's what? Place to go to the place which he doesn't know. But when God said, leave your family, leave your country, 
in short, is talking about leave that foundation. Go to the place where I will show you where I have laid a foundation for you. This is God now talking to Abraham. Today, God is talking to you. As I said earlier, in the family, as long as you love your family, we are always supporting even the thing that we know that this is wrong. But when you discover that this is wrong, that is when you know that my family is in danger. Nothing good will come out of that family unless the grace of God or the mess of God come upon that family. Verse 2, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. Meaning, no human beings can be great if it is not a great God in you. There is no nation that you can say a great nation if it is not God who has said that is a great nation. Because every nation where you go, you find human beings are the ones who are in charge over that nation. And we are all equal before God Almighty. Except that when God says, this is mine, he will put his greatness and you become great. As he has said here, I will bless you. I will make you great and will be a blessing. God Almighty was not talking to the whole entire family of Abraham. He just picked Abraham. Abraham did not fast. He did not went to Bible school for him to be picked. No. This is why people of God, we need to be careful what we carry inside. Because no one knows who you are inside, but God Almighty knows your heart. It was the heart of Abraham that attracted the attention of God Almighty. And God sees a leader in Abraham who can deliver the family from that bondage. And he realized that Abraham cannot be a great man if he remains in the family. In that foundation, I need to take him out of that foundation. To the place that I've prepared for him. And these are the words that God Almighty pronounced upon Abraham's life. Make no mistake, people of God. When God said, I have chosen you, it doesn't matter whether you are short, you are fat, you are slim. You are educated, you are not educated, you are from the village, you are born from the bush, or maybe a very nice hospital. That is not the qualification. He said, I will bless you. I will make you great. He was released from the family so that he become what? The source of what? Blessings in that family. But take note of this. Your heart is very, very important to this one. Because what made God to pick Abraham was not because he was fasting or preaching the word all over his father's household. No, the heart. What we become or what we have become today, it is not because of the work that we have done. But the grace of God located you and me through our heart. When you become great, are you going to be a brother's keeper? Are you going to look after your family? Are you going to support everyone? Or are you going to use that greatness to torment your family? Or to be pompous? The answer is no. When you are picked by God, he knows your heart. He knows what you can do. He knows that a lot of people will be what? Blessed. 
I am talking to you today. Leave your family. Leave your father's house. When I say that, I am not saying hate your family. Reject your family. I'm talking about the bad things that we see in our family that are bringing us down and yet we are still holding on to that thing. We know. When you are alone, you know that this is what is killing us. This is what is causing poverty. This is what is destroying us. But you cannot say it or denounce it because you are part of that foundation. When you are separated from them by the grace of God, whoever is going to curse you, it is not you to respond to them. It is now the duty of the one who raised you from that family. It is now him to take care of your life so that you become what? Come on, children of God. When God Almighty comes upon your life, your appearance is the same. But what you are calling, you are calling that greatness. Where there is no failure in you. There is no limitation in you. There is no premature death. There is nothing evil again that can take over your life. Because the one who is in charge is greater than any problem here on earth. This is why you became what? Great. Anything that you want to do, you do that. No one can stop you. Ha. Huh. I hope you understand this. He said, I will bless those who do what? Bless you. He said, I will bless those who bless you. And whoever curses you, I will curse. You are chosen and you are released from the family. For what? For the future. Listen to this. All people on earth will be blessed through you. Abraham did not hesitate or argue with the word of God. Instead, he obeyed. People of God, I want you to know that problems are all over the world. Each and every family, there is a problem that is tormenting that family. If it is okay for you and me to continue living like that, there's no one to be blamed. If it is not okay, then Jesus is calling you. It is now you to say, oh Lord, release me from this family, what? Problem. I always ask this question. I said, why is it that we just see uh, campaigns, uh, which one this? People of you know, building things big, big, others flying, hello plane. Who are their mothers and fathers? Bafu mine kuisa ababantu. Abafi alaba pilot. Bafu mine kuisa. Bafi alaba engineer. Bafu mine kuisa. If wenga wai pusho alam fuatio, abadiba face boni, bari ninganga. Face boni ayabe nganga. Number two, Male Bombananko. Number three, Haleiva. Number four, Uwa Rewa Mipeye. Male Kupendela, Umuafia, Umuafia, Rikwa Mumunganda, and you are comfortable. No. You need to ask God to say, Father, release me from this contaminated what? Foundation. Why must be the firstborn be the witch doctor? The second assistant witch doctor. And you are happy. We push about so cruelly, then she, but it's on the palace. Sometimes I feel pit when you hear someone, to the back of me for. I feel for you. You don't know what you are talking about. If 
your uncle, the firstborn in your father's or your mother's, you know, family, the firstborn was a witch doctor. The second was an assistant witch doctor. The second one was a, a, a criminal. The third one, a drunkard. You too, you are putting beer in your mouth and you are comfortable. That's why you are here. You need to ask Jesus today to release you from that foundation. So that you become a problem solver in your family. Go and ask the history of your, 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 your grandfather. But we are not about And you are comfortable. Hmm? I'm just laying a foundation. I'm coming back this Sunday to share more. There are so many scriptures that can help you and me to understand this. Sit down and look at your, your family foundation. That one will make you to realize that, no, 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 this is not normal. Jesus, release me from this foundation. Hmm? What kind of, you know, history is that? You too. You are, you, are, you are having a problem with the spirit of lust. Tabaka kuipai? Go and think about it. Go and research about your family. You need to ask God to release you from that foundation. Full of what? Problems. When you say, Jesus, for me, I want to be like you. He will release you. He will make you great. He will bless you. Whoever is going to stand against you, God Almighty will be the one to fight for you. Because these demons, when they realize that, oh, you are leaving the family, they will start fighting. But God cannot sit and watch you being destroyed and is inside you. He will react. When you are released by God, and you speak a blessing upon your life, your life is unquestionable. Your life is unstoppable. No one can stop you. No one can harm you. No one can destroy you. Because God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and everything on earth is inside you. Are you there, people of God? Look at this foundation. How are you going to run away from this spirit of polygamous? You answer the call from Jesus. And Jesus will call you now to say, My son, my daughter, leave this foundation. You are going somewhere. I don't want to go beyond that. I want you to think about this. And see where we are coming from. What can make you great is not because you attended your whatever. Maybe you, you were taken to university, the most powerful university on earth. Satan does not care about that name. He only feared the name Jesus. You can be a master's. A PhD, to him you are nothing. But when God Almighty picked you, with or without those papers, you will be great. This is why mweba mbimu alitemokula ndati mkwa ifweta tuwasa mbirila lesa tala ndiratika, ala ndiratika bombe sheni. No kusambila na kukuchita sheni, kubombe sha. Badichile vipa Chakwebati, nga mwapinga nye fpepala, elo mwashale sakunuma. Mwilabati mwimini nepali foundation, ia flapo ama problems. Jirai nefeshi na mkwete? Let me leave you. God bless you.